Well, guys, uh, the other day I showed you that I bought a couple of uh, Harbor Freight clamps, F-type style, F-style clamps, and I wanted to modify it so that it would work in the reverse position on my welding table where I could bolt it down and push down on something. And a lot of guys wrote in and on uh, the comments and said, uh, check on Stronghand and look at how they do things. And I've been really struggling with how I wanted to do it. I wanted something that looked halfway decent and uh, it kind of came to me and I don't know if this is the final resolve, but you can see there in the background, I've got something there and I'll show it to you. Um, this is your standard mill clamp and uh, this kind of gave me the idea for where I was headed. Um, so uh, let me uh, move the camera around and we'll look at my creation. Well, here it is, uh, and I decided to TIG weld this. Um, so it's my, been practicing TIG welding, and practice is kind of boring, so I said time to go for it. Um, so let me pull it out of the uh, clamp I have set up here. And not too bad for my first shot at it. I don't know how good that's coming up in the camera. This doesn't have to have monster strength. But uh, I think it's respectable. So the idea is, is this will, uh, let me move this guy out of the way. Everything's a little hot still. Um, so this will bolt down into the table. Let's see if I found a clean bolt hole. I need to get a shorter bolt. Yeah, I don't think I found a clean bolt hole. It's, uh, See if this one's better. I tried this earlier when I was mocking it up. Definitely need to get a shorter bolt. Much shorter bolt. Oh, there it is right there. Oh well, I already got this one going. Damn. Okay, so the, the slot there gives me some adjustability for moving it, but we don't need it right now, so we're just going to tighten it down. Someday we'll get it tightened down. Okay. Nice and sturdy. Back the camera up a little bit. So the thought here is that I've got adjustability now, right? I can, I can turn it and I can slide it. And then I kind of came up with a second idea as I got into this. Um, I'm not going to move the camera, but you can see there's a pin that holds the, the clamp onto the edge of the uh, end, end of it. And I was going to repin this unit, but then I thought about it, is it gives me an opportunity. So the, the one thought is that I can put something in here and I can clamp down and hold something on the table that way. Uh, especially mid-table and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe set this up with a quick pin here up on top move the camera up top so I can use the clamp in that fashion or I can turn the clamp around and use it as a regular F clamp so that's the kind of uh, thought process I got here and I'm kind of happy with it it's uh, nice and sturdy, and uh, with a short bolt, it'll be uh, quick to uh, adjust and move around. Uh, maybe even leave the, uh, don't even put a pin in there, and I can go either way. Real quick to, to turn it around. Tighten it down. And I may even make a, a knob here instead of the bolt. Make a little T-bolt, T-bolt. Uh, 
and uh, got something that'll set up in the middle of the table. Now, let me think, let me uh, know what you guys think. Um, kind of happy, happy with my uh, first TIG welds. Um, they're uh, they're respectable. They're not too ugly. All right, guys. Be back with you. Show you some more when uh, I, I produce the next one. Now, uh, just a little follow-up. I was just thinking about, this thing's still hot, but another thought I had on the next uh, design is to possibly go ahead and put a relief in the bottom here where I can put an E-clip on the bolt so that the bolt always stays with the unit. And I don't have to go search for bolts each time I go to use the uh, clamp. And when I use the clamp in the inverted scenario as a regular F clamp, the bolt will just sit there and, and uh, be out of the way. So anyway, go on to design here and work on it. Thanks for watching, guys. Well, I'm back. Um, as I was... Uh, just breaking this down, I figured out how to make it adjustable at the top. So I've got a bunch of these, uh, I don't know what they're called, snap pins or whatever. So now I have it set up. I can drop it in. That could be sitting there like that. I can come over. I can clamp. Or if I had, you know, for another quick setup, I can turn it around. And I could put a spacer in, in on top of the, uh, the piece uh, if I was going to hold, say, something up in the air like that. And it can clamp down. All right? Other than it's a cheap Harbor Freight piece, but no, it's just operator air. And I can clamp it up in the air like that, and so I could have any kind of adjustability up and down. Kind of liking it. The outside screwball welding table. <laughs> All right, guys. And uh, if anybody's going to ask me or curious, uh, on the TIG torch, I was using a 16th electrode, a red, and I was using uh, both, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, whatever size this one is, two sizes of rod that I was using. And I had the uh, welder on DC at about 150. Uh, is where I was using the uh, the TIG welder. Okay, now I'm done. Catch you guys all later.